السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace, blessings and mercy of God be upon you After studying of iron metabolism and iron investigation in the previous lectures we are now ready to understand disorders related to iron which include iron deficiency and iron overload No new information will, will be illustrated in these lectures but just the application of the last two lectures These disorders are encountered a lot in our practice. I can say that iron deficiency is the most encountered disorder in hematological lab. We will start today the study of iron deficiency anemia. First, what is iron deficiency anemia? Uh, of course, anemia is a decrease of the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. When defining iron deficiency anemia, we must uh, uh, illustrate the cause of anemia in the definition. So, the definition of iron deficiency anemia is a decrease of the oxygen carrying capacity of blood caused by iron deficiency. Of course, we had known the importance of iron in the heme senses and the hemoglobin senses in the previous lectures. For the etiology of this type of anemia, the cause of any element to be deficient in the body will be either the decreased intake of this element, the decreased absorption, the increased requirement, or the increased loss. We mentioned that most of iron utilized in erythropoiesis come from RPCs recycling and not from the, the dietary uh, iron. That makes the daily need of iron very small amount. That is enough only to cover the lost iron in the lost cells, as said before. From this point, it is clear that the main cause of iron deficiency will not be the dietary deficiency, as that very small amount will be adequate in the average daily intake. Here, the main cause of deficiency will be the increased loss. Imagine what may be the cause of increased iron loss. As iron is lost at the part of cell loss, especially the RPCs, so the cause of the increased iron loss is the loss of RPCs in excess or the blood loss, especially if the blood loss is continuous or chronic, as uh, bleeding related to menstrual or peripartum bleeding. Uh, loss of blood from GIT in the form of peptic ulcer, piles, esophageal varices, cancer, or intestinal parasites, especially which feed on blood. Also, blood loss from any side may cause iron deficiency anemia if chronic. The second cause of iron deficiency will be the increased requirement during growth, pregnancy, or lactation. The next cause is a defect in iron absorption at the male absorption syndrome and in gastrectomy or achlorhydria, which decrease the gastric acidity. Then the last cause is a decreased iron intake as in starvation and anorexia or the decreased animal source in diet as in vegetarians. How does this occur? It is not easy to iron to be deficient to the level that causes iron deficiency anemia. This occurs through many stages. Of course, the first stage of any deficiency is the, defi the, uh, is the depletion of stores. I will utilize iron from its stores till stores are depleted before I will manifest the iron deficiency. This stage is called the pre-latent stage and is manifested in the lab by the decreased serum ferritin and the decreased hemosiderin stains in the macrophages. The next stage or, uh, or the latent stage is the stage when the erythropoiesis start to feel that iron is not enough. In other words, iron available for erythropoiesis decreases. But still, there is no anemia. 
This stage is manifested in the lab by the decreased serum iron, decreased transferrin saturation, and the increased total iron binding capacity. The transferrin saturation which can support erythropoiesis are that below 15%. As a result of the decreased available iron, the transferrin receptors will be upgraded as illustrated before, and thus the soluble transferrin receptor level will be high. And also as a result of the decreased available iron for erythroplasts, the protoporphyrin will find no iron to unite with, and the free protoporphyrin will increase inside the RPCs. At this stage also, the MCV and MCH begin, begin to decrease, although there is still no anemia. The third stage includes the actual anemia or the decreased oxygen carrying capacity of blood, which of course is present in the lab by the low hemoglobin and the low hematocrit. In this stage, transferrin saturation is less than 10% and iron deficiency will be manifested in erythroplasts by the decreased number of sidroplasts and the number and size of sidrotic granules. Also, hemoglobin synthesis in decrease inside the erythroplasts giving them the picture of vacuolated cytoplasm. Platelet count will increase in this stage, which could be explained either by the hyperactivity of the bone marrow due to the increased erythropoietin, which has a structural similarity with thrombopoietin, or it may be falsely elevated due to the low MCV, which makes the very small RPCs to overlap with the area of platelet counting in the automated machines. The next stage is the stage of ineffective erythropoiesis. In this stage, RPCs are destroyed inside the bone marrow, a process known as ineffective erythropoiesis or intramedullary hemolysis. This stage is manifested uh, in the lab by presentation similar to hemolysis in the form of increased indirect bilirubin, increased stercobilin, increased uropilinogen, increased LDH, and decreased haptoglobin. The last stage is the stage in which the iron deficiency begins to manifest in the tissue due to the defect in the iron containing enzymes. This is a very, very late stage. At the iron in these enzymes is the last iron in the body to be, to be deficient. Clinically, this stage is presented by cholinachia, glossitis, angular stomatitis, atrophic asteritis, plumber Vinson syndrome. Uh, impaired immunity, impaired work performance, and maybe impaired mental development in infants. For the clinical presentation of iron deficiency anemia, it is the general presentation of anemia in the form of dizziness, weakness, headache, loss of concentration, and clearing of vision. This presentation are in addition to the special presentation of iron deficiency, especially if it is late in the uh, late stage and affect tissues and presented by tissue changes. Also, there should be the presentation of the codes of iron deficiency, mostly in the form of chronic bleeding. For the lab finding uh, of any type of anemia, we must comment on a set of investigations, including the CBC with a comment on the three cellular elements, blood film, and reticulocytic count. According to the finding uh, of, uh, this, uh, of this set, and according to the type of anemia, there will be the, the second step. In cases of iron deficiency anemia, we will find a microcytic hypochromic anemia in the CBC, meaning that RBCs, hemoglobin, and hematocrit are low, and also MCV, MCH, and MCHC are low. Mostly, the RW or red cell distribution, which in this patient is high, meaning that these patients having anisocytosis. 
there may be another uh, sign of the cause of iron deficiency as eosinophilia in cases of parasitic infestation. For platelets, we mentioned that there may be thrombocytosis, and we had illustrated the cause of this thrombocytosis. In the blood film, we will find hypochromic RBCs, meaning that the central palate of RBCs is more than one third of their surface area. There will also be uh, uh, what is called poikilocytosis or anisopoikilocytosis, meaning that RBCs are not equal in size and are not ideal in morphology. We may find any type of abnormal, abnormality in RBC shape, including elliptocytosis, spherocytosis, schistocytes, tear drops, or target cells. The next step in the diagnosis of anemia is the reticulocytic count. The rule states that reticulocytic count should increase in cases of anemia. As anemia is a cause of hypoxia, which when reaching the kidney stimulates erythropoietin secretion, which in turn stimulates erythropoiesis and premature release of reticulocytes from the bone marrow. This rule needs that all of these steps are present, that are presence of anemia, anemia causes hypoxia, hypoxia reaches a normal kidney tissue, kidney secretes uh, erythropoietin, Erythropoietin reaches a normal bone marrow with available materials needed for erythropoiesis and lastly healthy erythroid precursors in a healthy bone marrow environment that allows the reticulocyte to be released to the peripheral circulation with normal lifespan. Here there is a lost step that is no available iron in the bone marrow is enough to respond appropriately to the level of anemia and hypoxia. This doesn't uh, mean that uh, iron deficiency anemia patient will be presented with reticulocytopenia. In fact, reticulocyte, reticulocytic count may be normal or even high in these patients, but is not matched with the degree of anemia, meaning that reticulocytic count is lower than expected from the degree of anemia. In fact, severe cases will be present, uh, presented by frank reticulocytopenia, but this is rare and is restricted to severe cases. The next step is the performance of iron profile, including serum iron, serum ferritin, serum transference saturation, and serum total iron binding capacity. This was discussed in details in the previous lecture, but briefly, in iron deficiency anemia patients, uh, patients, there will be low serum ferritin, low serum iron, low transferrin saturation, and high total iron binding capacity. The next step in the diagnosis of anemia is to examine the bone marrow. Exactly, iron deficiency anemia patients are not indicated for this invasive step. But what are the findings expected to be found in this patient if the bone marrow is examined for uh, any other purpose? In the comment on bone marrow, we will report cellularity, myeloid erythroid ratio or ME ratio, uh, and comment on erythroid, myeloid, and megakaryocytic series. In these cases, we must do the iron stain and comment on it. In these patients, Anemia with the resultant hypoxia will stimulate the kidney to secrete erythropoietin, which in turn stimulates erythropoiesis in the bone marrow, causing erythroid hyperplasia with increase of the overall cellularity and decrease or reversal of the myeloid erythroid ratio or ME ratio. Erythropoiesis is micro-normoplastic erythropoiesis, meaning that erythroid precursors have a smaller volume than the normal precursors. There will be also predominance of the later stages of erythroid precursors. Erythroid precursors will be devoid of hemoglobin and vacuolated. About iron stain, um, iron stain was discussed in details in the previous uh, lecture. The comment on iron stain in the bone marrow should include commenting on the iron state in the macrophages and normoplasts, the number of sideroplasts, 
and the distribution of hemocidrin granules in cytoplasm. Here, there will be a decrease of hemocidrin granules in both macrophages and normoplasts, decrease percentage of cytoplasm, and decrease cytotic granules in the uh, cytoplasm. But cytotic granules will be still randomly distributed, uh, distributed uh, uh, in the cytoplasm. Other uh, our investigations include measuring of the free erythrocyte protoporphyrin, which will be high in these cases. Uh, the synthesis of protoporphyrin is normal, but it finds no iron to cooperate with and remain free in the uh, erythrocytes. For the soluble transferrin receptor, it will be upgraded as a feedback mechanism to iron deficiency. The earliest finding of all of these finding is the increased RDW, decreased serum ferritin, increased the free erythrocyte protoporphyrin, which is a very sensitive marker, increased soluble transferrin receptor, and the increase in the percentage of hypochromic red uh, blood corpuscles. When patient is diagnosed as iron deficiency anemia, you must search for the cause as it is known that anemia is a sign and not a disease. For this patient, iron deficiency anemia is, most, is mostly resulted from chronic bleeding, which needs GIT, endoscopy, occult blood in the stool, chest x-ray, urine analysis, and pelvic investigation in women. Diagnosis is not complete except after exclusion of other differential diagnoses. The differential diagnosis, the differential diagnoses of iron deficiency anemia are the causes of microcytic hypochromic anemia, which include thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, and cytoplastic anemia. Here is a comparison between the different causes of microcytic hypochromic anemia. The RPCs indices in thalassemic carrier patient is much lower than that of iron deficiency anemia patient, and thalassemic indices are not proportional to the degree of anemia. While in iron deficiency anemia indices decrease in proportional to the degree of anemia. Also in thalassemia, RPCs count is higher than, higher than that of iron deficiency anemia RPCs. From this point, the means are index arises which is the MCV divided by the RPC count. When this index is less than 13, it favors the diagnosis of thalassemia, while when it is more than 13, it favors the diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia. The main key in this comparison and differential diagnosis is the iron profile, which had been discussed in details in previous lectures. In thalassemic carrier, there will be normal to high serum iron, normal to high transferrin saturation, high serum ferritin, and normal to low uh, total iron binding capacity. When iron profile gives the picture of thalassemic carriers, then the hemoglobin electrophoresis is indicated. Thalassemic carriers will have a high hemoglobin A2 in the hemoglobin electrophoresis. An important note here, is that when the thalassemic carrier have, a, have iron deficiency, iron deficiency should be corrected before performing the hemoglobin electrophoresis test, as iron deficiency causes masking of the high hemoglobin A2 and gives false negative diagnosis. Management include reversal of the cause and iron supplementation, either oral or uh, parenteral. How to assess the response to iron supplementation? The first parameter to respond is the reticulocytic count. So it is very important to set a baseline reticulocytic count before the start of treatment. Increase of reticulocytic count start at the fourth day and reaches the peak at the uh, first to uh, the second week. Moglobin increase by the rate of uh, 2 gram per deciliter every uh, three weeks. Also, symptoms and signs begins, uh, begin to uh, relieve. 
Storing of uh, uh, serum 13 may take six months of oral iron supplementation. I hope you had understood the iron deficiency anemia, its causes, pathogenesis, clinical picture, how to diagnose and how to manage. See you soon. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.